The objective of this lesson is to add fractions with like denominators that have a sum of less than 1 or greater than 1 using models and equations. Let's review the vocabulary for fractions. The denominator is the bottom number in a fraction. It tells what is being counted. The numerator is the top number in a fraction, and it tells how many equal-sized pieces that are described in the fraction. Let's solve the following problem. Juanita made cocoa mix. She used 4 tenths cups of cocoa and 9 tenths cups of powdered milk. How much mix did she make? Let's first estimate about how much mix Juanita made. The 4 tenths cup of cocoa is a little less than a half cup because a half cup is 5 tenths. The 9 tenths cup of milk is almost a whole cup because a whole cup is 10 tenths. The total mix will be more than one cup. 4 tenths plus 9 tenths equals 13 tenths or more than one. To solve, let's use an area model. We know from our estimation that it will be greater than one. So we will create two rectangles and divide each of them into 10 sections. Juanita used 4 tenths of a cup of cocoa. So let's color in four sections of the first rectangle. Next, she added 9 tenths cup of powdered milk. Let's continue to fill in the rectangles to add 9 tenths of a cup more. We can see in the model that 4 tenths plus 9 tenths is 13 tenths, or one whole, and 3 tenths of mix. Let's try this problem. Twin brothers were painting a fence. If one boy did 4 sixths of the job and the other brother did 1 sixth of the job, are they finished? As before, let's estimate to determine if our answer will be less than or greater than 1. We know that 3 sixths is 1 half, so 4 sixths is a little more than half of the job. 1 sixth is a small amount and would round to 0, so we can estimate that they've done less than the whole job. If we create an area model, we can prove that 4 sixths plus 1 sixth equals 5 sixths or less than 1. Let's use a number line to solve the next problem. Mia ran one-fifth of the way to school and then walked three-fifths of the way. Has she walked the whole distance? If we estimate our answer, we can see that one-fifth rounds to zero. We can estimate three-fifths to be more than one-half, so it would round to one-half. One-half and zero is less than one. We will know our answer will be less than one. The exact equation is 1 fifth plus 3 fifths equals 4 fifths or less than one whole trip. Let's also do this last problem with a number line. The seamstress uses 7 twelfths yards of red fabric and 8 twelfths of black fabric to sew a hoodie. How much fabric was used altogether? To estimate, we know that 6 twelfths is 1 half. So the 7 twelfths red is just over 1 half. The black fabric is 8 twelfths, which is also a little over a half of a yard. So we know that we have two pieces of fabric both over 1 half of a yard, so the exact amount will be more than 1 yard. The equation is 7 twelfths plus 8 twelfths equals 15 twelfths, or more than 1 yard, as estimated. Practicing adding fractions with the same denominator will help students estimate and find exact sums efficiently and accurately. The objective for this lesson was to add fractions with like denominators that have a sum of less than 1 or greater than 1 using models and equations. We met this objective by first estimating and then making models of equal-sized fraction pieces using area models and number lines.